Thanks so much. We'll be in touch. So how do you think this new guest surgery is going, huh? Fantastic. It's not like anybody out there gets our show. Hell, I'm not even sure I get it. What? Never mind. Hey, why don't we just take five and get something to eat, huh? I'm starving. Well, you know, we could try that Greek place, you know, get some tapuli or something, you know, shawarma. Uh, I... I hate Greek food. What? Why do you hate the Greeks? I didn't say I hate the Greeks. It's just their food. No, 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 no. We're not... No, we're not ready for you yet. Could you please go back out and wait with the others? Hey, Matthew, do me a favor. Let's just take him, huh? He's ready. You're ready, right? Are you ready? Uh... Okay, come on. Have a seat. You know the subject matter. Any questions? He's got no questions. Look at him. Let's go. Come on. Oh, don't mind that. Some pranking down the street. Uh, <laughs> cops have been making our life a living hell whole night. Fuck that. Use it. Use it. Use it. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> Die Hard is a fucking Christmas movie. Anyone who says otherwise is either a troll or Leonard Moulton. Christmas movie? Uh, Die Hard was released in the summer i.e. not a Christmas movie, fuckhead. Oh, he's British. I like that. Fuckhead? Miracle on 34th Street was released in May, so you could stow that tired argument right down, pal. Why do people like you always go to that well, huh? Surely you have something better to do with your time. All you're doing is killing the joy for everyone else. I, I, I didn't kill anyone. You're killing it! Why? Why?! I didn't want him to come down. He insisted. I told him you gotta stay at home. He doesn't listen to me. He's such a stupid son of a bitch. I killed him, didn't I? Oh, fuck. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, what, do, what, do, what, do you, what, do, what are you talking about? Shh. Don't ruin the vibe. Tangent. Tangent. Okay. Okay. Better action movie. Predator or Lethal Weapon. Well, uh, it's really hard to compare the two. One's more of an ensemble sci-fi action while the other is a Two-hander action noir. Best Batman? Gotta be Keaton, right? Of course. I'm not a fucking moron. How do you feel about Greek food? Shut up. Brett Ratner, thoughts? The next good movie he makes will be the first good movie he makes. See, see, (laughs) see? This is what I'm talking about. Old school, real theater of the mind stuff. Adam Carolla? Mark Maron. Yeah. Put this in the past to LA and get Gay Julie on the phone, huh? This is the holiday edition of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They finally managed to talk Santa Claus into a fat camp. Cause that guy is like one more Christmas cookie away from a merry myocardial infarction. I'm your Grinchy announcer Julie. Wondering if I'm the only one who notices the phallic innuendos associated with Christmas. You logs. North Poles, stocking stuffers, and don't even get me started on annual warnings about Santa Claus, quote unquote, coming. Here are your hosts, Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, time to open the present you've all been waiting for, the holiday edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by three guys not only put milk and cookies off for Santa, they also include a couple lines of <laughs> driven snow, if you get my drift. Chief toy maker, Matthew Stewart. Reindeer doctor, Justin Palizzi. And from Mustache Movie News, Simon Appleton. Police Navi Dodd, fellas. How you guys doing? Toy maker? Fuck you. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Chief toy maker? Like, what, am I making, like, sex toys? Oh, of course. Ooh, That's yeah, why I put you in charge of the toys. You already know your niche. <laughs> it's all right. I'm fucking... You guys reindeer, like toys that are at least eight inches. <laughs> That's the real question here. <laughs> so, Simon, how's well, everything? Are we talking going? about the metric system now, or are we? <laughs> the yeah, metric system. Like, tell us about the metric system. I mean, Simon. Yeah, <laughs> Simon, explain the metric system to us. What's the metric system? <laughs> uh, I haven't got long enough to explain to you guys the okay. metric system. It's like pushing a boulder uphill. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I heard they were redoing the metric system, though. They were reweighing the metric block that is of. The baseline for metric system. Ooh, version two. Yeah, yes. metric system it was, talk. It was metric <laughs> system point two or whatever you want. It's like Spider Man one point yeah. two. Was, was it one point five or Jackass one point five? 
<laughs> you know, I don't think they did 1.5. I believe it was like 1.2. Yeah, like really, really like, where's sense. the other eights? It's like, it's like, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's going to be in part two. I was like, oh. Well, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank all you, I remember is that, that that was on the news when I was at work, and there was about six guys standing around a TV going, what the <laughs> my watch and this is a slow news day <laughs> and the, nothing else more important than that we go to our live story our, our number one story like, the metric system is gone it's like it's like excuse me metric block what do you have to say for yourself <laughs> thank I'm sorry, you I okay. wrote it. i'm terribly sorry <laughs> i'm sorry you stupid fucking americans don't understand the metric system <laughs> like, well, that sounds about right well oh my god god bless america so, Simon, tell us everything about mustache movie news while I, I uh, drink this eggnog. Go ahead. You hate fucking eggnog. It's, true. it's not really eggnog. It's liquor, but go ahead. I was going to say, I never heard a black man drink eggnog before. <laughs> That's not how it goes. It's too white for him. Well, basically, I do a job where I sit around and do mm. absolutely almost fuck all. You're the president of the United States? Uh, no, I do a bit more than that. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, oh, congratulations. <laughs> but basically, I sit around and do, I have very little time on my, or I have a lot of time on my hands. And I am a big movie nerd um, and I annoy people with my movie nerdism, shall we say? Mm, so mm. my fiance suggested I start writing about movies so I stop annoying her with it <laughs> and stop annoying the people at work. And uh, so I started writing. And basically, what happened was we had a temporary boss at the time who was a giant douche that you know the type of you you know the type of guy who walks in says hi guys i'm your new boss my door is always open then walks in his office and shuts the door he literally did that (laughs) it sounds like the guys i share the podcast with yeah that's that's literally my policy open door policy get out (laughs) get the fuck out of my door (laughs) so we had these posters put up at work and it's like, oh, you know, when you work for the company, it's like, yeah, the company's really good and it depends on you, but actually we're going to fuck you over when we, we get a chance. And two of my, two of my buddies were, were on it and I drew a mustache on one of them. Huh? Well, you'd think uh... I'd drawn a giant fucking penis the size of a tractor <laughs> tire on this fucking wall. <laughs> he went nuts. He was bugging all the shift leaders, you know, if you don't find it, I'm going to punish the entire unit. And, and I just, <laughs> and one, of the, one of the bosses says to me, do, do you know who did it? And I was like, yeah, I do. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Come at I'm, me, bro. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to tell the boss, fuck it, tell him, what's he going to do? And he sends me an email, right? He sends me an email. Please make an appointment. I can't remember the exact words. But basically, it's like, please make an appointment to come and see me for me to bollock you. And it's like, I'm not making an appointment to come be bollocked, but you can come find me, you lazy fucking wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so I named my blog after him in honor of him being a giant douche. Put it this way, his surname was very, very similar to um, the cop from The Simpsons. So we literally oh. nicknamed him Chief Wiggum. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name. Uh, and then he uh, fucked off up to another office up in the in the north and almost got done on racism or something or other. Oh Jesus! Who the fuck Jesus. is this guy? Are you sure you weren't working for Donald Trump? Who I'm, is this guy? I'm a big fan of this origin story. <laughs> is this the best origin story of all time? Is this the origin story for David Brent? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I certainly hope uh, so. And that, that's about it. I've been writing shitty reviews and movie news ever since, and that was what. Wow. Almost shitty. three years ago. I thought ours oh, wow. was If I say shitty, for- no one else puts me down. You see, that that's my philosophy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not shitty, Simon. Oh, uh, I've if, won. If Simon was saying, I've been writing bollocks reviews for <laughs> this long. Then people are like, oh, oh, I get is it that, now. Is that bad? Or- <laughs> what's, what's the fun part for you? Is it writing the reviews? Yeah, it's just uh, I, I love talking about movies. And so I... Just, instead of boring people at work with them, they occasionally ask me what I think of this, that, and the other. I just write it, and you know, I've since joined the Lamb and met you guys and met, and done podcasting, and I generally get to nerd out with other movie geeks. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm excited because I, I I've been wondering where the mustache came from for a very long time. <laughs> now I realize, and then when you came on, a, <laughs> I was like, I "Where's the mustache? mustache? What's going on?" <laughs> What is this mustache business we've been doing? What, what is this facial hair <laughs> film thing? What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all the story. Spite. That's, that's it. <laughs> I, I like it. it all grow up. 
See, I thought I see. I always imagined that you had like a handlebar mustache. Like you were just, <laughs> no. That, that is true. We've was. never seen your face. Yeah. Dude, so I was like, okay, he well, must it's be not one on of those face. like hipsters. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we uh, move on, uh, we have some sponsors, or not sponsors, if you mm. guys don't mind. Okay. <clears throat> the holiday edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast is not, not sponsored mm. by Kowalski Sleigh Bells. <laughs> Want to turn a normal, good, God-fearing man such as myself into a cold-blooded, relentless murderer? Constantly ring some Kowalski sleigh bells in the general vicinity of me and watch the darkness come. Kowalski sleigh bells. Ooh. It's like a festive waterboarding. And not by Brexit. <laughs> oh. Mostly because oh. we have no idea what it means. Uh, we even got a guy from the UK on, and he has no f- <laughs> fucking idea what it means. No. Uh, S- Simon, you have any idea what it means? Nope. Not a clue. Nope. Brexit. <laughs> I think it's an exit for breakdancers. Brexit. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Was. Brexit I wish it electric was. boogaloo. At, <laughs> at this point, it's more fuel for comedians and news outlets, and that's about it. <laughs> I say it's, it's like a funny word. So I can say, hey, Brexit. Hey, mm. it's, a, it's like a punchline. And Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. And Brexit. <laughs> We're also not sponsored by a new movie. Ooh, what's the, Ooh. What's the movie? Oh, Mary Poppins Returns. Oh. Flaming Asshole, Volume 4. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, Tell it whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you spell Poppins? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Was he watching the porno version? That's all <laughs> we can get here. That's not Emily Blunt. She <laughs> spells it with a C. <laughs> I, 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 I want to know what volume one through three was. To be honest with you, well, what, what was volume one through three? Because we oh well, first that. off, Mary Poppins. That's not just an umbrella she got there. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 just a spoonful oh, oh, oh. of sugar. Oh, she makes something go down. Time for a segment that will probably be more frustrating than the game these morons are spoofing. It's Simon Says. If the opening sketch showed us anything, it's that Simon is really good at giving his opinion on things. So we decided to play a little game called Simon Says, where Simon gives the definitive answer on questions that have plagued us for centuries, except for Brexit, because he has no fucking idea what that means. Uh, <clears throat> Simon, are you ready? Ready. Okay. I will go first, then Justin, then Matt, mm. then back to me. Ooh. And then Justin and Matt. Ooh. Okay. Man, the it's order is at all. It's like a job interview. It's like a job giant interview. circle okay, jerk with Simon enjoying it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 all right, Simon. Worst Shyamalan movie. Of the ones I've seen, the happening, happening. <laughs> the one where Mark Wahlberg looks confused. <laughs> the one where Mark Wahlberg is a teacher. Well, that doesn't happen in that movie, oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Why? <laughs> they outrun the wind in that movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've never done that before? It's quite easy. <laughs> Thanks, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> you want a hot dog? Isn't that the scene? In, in there? No. The hot dog scene? I, I just remember him talking to a plant, and it was a house. It was like a fake plant. And I was like, yeah, this... This is bad. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> I just remember him standing in a field home. looking confused. <laughs> <laughs> that was this Mark Wahlberg on a Tuesday. Oh, He's yeah. always confused. <laughs> Poor Except when he looks at his bank balance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich for no reason. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. All right, Justin, here we go. Will Smith as a genie. <laughs> Do you see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Not even a no, I don't understand it. <laughs> Does I mean, it offend DJ? you somehow? <laughs> it offended me, and I'm not even Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> but as a white guy, does it offend you? <laughs> as a white male, as a white Anglo-Saxon. Are you offended by this? <laughs> well, DJ, you saw my tweet about it earlier. I mean, is that shame yeah. or dis- regret or what do we see in his eyes? I don't. It's not I, it looks like he's dying inside slowly, like <laughs> like like he's in the dark, the 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 sunken place, screaming like, "Get me out of here!" <laughs> he has a seven eleven voice. I'm gonna shit myself. God. Oh my God! The last time I was on social media, I had a video about how I'm doing bad boys, and now I look like Robin Williams' stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw that picture, and I was just like, "Really? I, really? <laughs> really?" No one, no one stopped anybody, huh? Nobody said. Everybody was like, "Good, keep going, keep going." Do keep it. Going. <laughs> Why not? Here's what a concept art wrong? of the gene. It was almost like a, like a prank to see if they can get away with it. Here's our, uh, uh, Mr. Iger, here's our concept art of Will Smith as the genie. And he like slowly slides it over there with like a wink and the guy was like, yeah, fine, great. 
Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. You, it what actually you... reminded me of Team America, you know, where they're like, oh, yeah, we can make him look like a terrorist. And it's like, they <laughs> wrap a around his head and stuck some fire. Durka, Durka. Yeah. Durka, Durka. yeah. <sighs> what hey, Durka, you guys Durka seen any there? lamps around here? <laughs> <laughs> We need more of that. Will Smith, we're gonna, we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> suck me I off. Remember that scene when he's like, "Suck me off." <laughs> you don't get any of that in a movie anymore. Is is Robert Downey Jr. better at looking like a black man than a black man is good at best looking like a genie? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. At this, point, I believe yes. Robert Downey Jr. as a black man more than I believe Will Smith as a genie. I believe Ted Danson as a black man. <laughs> I can Mr. buy Jangles, I believe. I can buy Ted Danson as a Al Jolson as a black man. <laughs> yeah. So, but I am a black man. Wait. <laughs> what happened Hold to on. me? <laughs> All right, Matthew, you're going. All right. Um, do you think that uh, Wolf Ferrell and John C. Riley will be better Brits than actual Brits playing Brits in a oh, British wow. made British film? Even though it's not made by British people. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I wrote a list of anticipated movies for this year. I did it for last mm-hmm. year as well. I'm right. working on next year's, and I put that movie on on my list because you know they've done some good films, you know, like uh, Talladega Nights and all the of other that. guys. Yeah, and they were funny. Yeah. I watched this trailer. I was like, oh, cool, that trailer's up. great, and I just stared at it like. What the fuck am I watching? You know, is, I never thought I'd be offended, but that, that almost offended me. As but a then Will Smith as a genie. Yeah, the yeah. genie's fried. Yeah. Will Smith today. <laughs> yeah. they, they can't get any worse than this Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Tri- oh God. It's oh God. No. Uh, I'm not sure if the part where John C. Riley tried to mount Queen Victoria or the part where they did the selfie pissed me off more. The selfie is the worst part of that trailer. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's like, yeah. I've, heard, I've heard a lot of Americans try to do English accents like this, like, hello, I'm English. Hello, I'm British. This fucking offends me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's good. Jewish. <laughs> yes! I've been offended for a lot of years. <laughs> they, they never. He get knows offended. offense. He takes offense all the time. I, I, I am, I am beside myself. <laughs> and I only came on this show to meet Lufa. Yeah, Lufa, Inspector Lufa. <laughs> and that's better than fucking John C. Riley. He does have one good line though. Would you like some heroin now, or would you like some heroin? I, I laughed at that. So yeah, because I wanted some heroin at the time I wanted to some make heroin, it go away. Probably, yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I want a uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes comedy. It's not really. I don't. <sighs> Shit, the Robert Downey Jr. again, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. The Sherlock Holmes really Robert Downey Jr. is more of a comedy. <laughs> it, it has comedy <laughs> aspects, mm-hmm. but not a full blown AIDS of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> And by the what way, has he ever done? that is, is like not magic the Johnson last AIDS reference. <laughs> the Magic Johnson. <laughs> Donald Sterling's idea of Magic Johnson version of comedy. It's like, <laughs> that, that is, what a special black guy. <laughs> He's a special black guy. <laughs> Donald Sterling, ladies and gentlemen, was the owner of the Clippers who uh, didn't like Magic Which Johnson because racist. he had AIDS. <laughs> it's pretty racist. I believe you referred to the locker room as a prison. Yes. He yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> and I don't even watch basketball. Yes. America. All right. Uh, Thank you, <laughs> my turn. Donald Sterling, look him up. Uh, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> go ahead before he dies. <laughs> uh, number- <laughs> All right, Simon, here we go. This is the toughest question I can think of, okay? This is the toughest. I don't, I, I don't know if you're going to answer. It's fucking stalemate right here. Here we go. Well, best, best Charlie Brown character. Yeah. yeah. See, I Eat don't even that. watch Charlie Brown, so. <laughs> don't watch this you. fucking Charlie Brown. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You guys don't watch Charlie Brown? What the fuck? You too good for fucking Charlie Brown yeah, now? It's only on every year. Charlie Brown! What's the name of the bird? I can't remember the name of the bird, but he was. Woodstock is Woodstock. the bird. That's how shitty it is. He how can it be your best character? You even know his fucking name? name. <laughs> hey, hey, what's the name of the dog? <laughs> Snoop, Snoop, something or other? Snoop, yeah, Snoop, Snoop Dog? Yeah, see, I don't even know! <laughs> Snoop Dog. Snoop. That's the one. Cujo. Snoop, 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 Snoop. Felix the cat. How much would you like to see Cujo in a Snoopy movie? Oh, I fucking... <laughs> my, my, I, I got my dick out right now. <laughs> you always have your dick out. I, I got my uh, dick out here and my wallet in my other hand. Like, where do I pay, sir? 
This isn't the only Charlie Brown fan here. What the fuck is wrong with you? You guys are communists. Okay, speaking of which, uh, Justin, go ahead. <laughs> favorite. So we Bob. established that Woodstock is Simon's favorite character, right? He, yes. the, the bird. Okay. Said. <laughs> the yellow bird. Okay. I'm just the bird. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm making sure we're getting the answers because this is. This is down. I'm giving you all the bird right fucking now. Fuck I'll all of you. I'll give you the fucking bird. <laughs> the big. All right, Justin. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Favorite Bond film. Ooh, Ooh. now this is important. All right. Yeah. This is coming from the horse's Everybody fucking mouth up. right here. This is important. Shut the fuck. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Except Simon, talk. Simon, Simon talk. You ready? <laughs> yes. Joe, you ready? Oh, oh, oh wait, wow. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Now. Serious right now. Hold on. Jesus. I'm a child of the '90s. Well, I'm a child of the '80s. So I grew up in the '90s, essentially. Gold Knight. Oh. That's not a bad pick, though. No, no, no solid no. pick. <laughs> solid pick. I must say. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. How about that song though? You like that golden eye song though? A golden eye. Golden eye. Are you a Turner fan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Famka Jensen as Xena on a top? Yeah, I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no more foreplay. No, no more all. foreplay. No, no. You gotta do no. the nasal, like do the do the nasal British, because Pierce speaks through his nose. He's no more foreplay. Remington Steel, what do you expect? Remington Steel. Uh, so Goldeneye. Wow, that's a that's a good one. That reinvented the franchise. It, it revitalized. What do you see? Reinvent or revitalized? I, I do wish it, though. Timothy got to Ooh, do could that, have done Goldeneye. Yes. You think Timothy could have done Goldeneye better he than was Chris Brosnan done Goldeneye? Timothy was supposed to. You yeah. fuck. You, you you love you some Tim. Oh, I love you my love Tim. Some Tim D. Do you think, do you think <laughs> good Tim old Dalton Flash Gordon? Wrong, do you think he got the wrong deal, Tim Dalton? No, oh, no. no. He, he did his thing and left. Uh, like so, what about last and like D? a gentleman? What you think about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Nothing I'm out. I'm gonna go do. About I'm gonna do hot fuzz and be cool fuck as shit. Fuck you! I did Flash Gordon. <laughs> The Fuck problem. you, I fucked up. <laughs> Sam Jones and me, we, we tussled. <laughs> the problem with Lazenby is the story of him getting the role is actually more interesting than the movie he made. Yes. Did he kill somebody? What happened? He no, no, he, he... I can't remember exactly how it goes, but basically he showed up in, in America and or England, wherever the hell they were. the producers were, bought a suit like Sean Connery had and then just showed up and had the haircut and the everything and just basically strutted into the office and said, give me the role. <laughs> that was that cool. easy to be a movie star. It was that folks. easy, apparently. But something <laughs> along those lines. It was on one of these documentaries where it's the da -da -da anniversary of Bond. Da -da -da. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few da -da -da anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> if it was only that easy, I'd be a fucking billionaire at this point. <laughs> Give me all your money. Excuse <laughs> Wait, me. Okay. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm George fucking Lazenby. <laughs> That's never happened to the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't. All right, Matthew. All right. Um, this is going to come from, uh, come from the heart. dark place. What is, what's going on? I did, not, yeah, it's we're already saving, there. Uh, we're saving the dark place. Uh, Ooh, dark place. Mexicans, love them or hate them? <laughs> oh, don't go, oh, don't go there. Don't oh, go there. Come, oh. on, come on, come on. Come on. I love them. I mean, we're not, we're not tr trying to build a wall between us here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easier, Patreon. Okay? Get Patreon. Get on Patreon. Pay for yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. Get the behind yeah. the scenes there. On that one. Oh, <laughs> we're <laughs> fucked. Now we're, now we're making money. We're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> we're doomed. <laughs> it's the end of days. Okay, go ahead, Matthew. Uh, in, the, in the film, Love Actually, Ooh. Ooh. what is your favorite character's plots? Or oh, journey? that's a good question now. Ooh, I like this one. You might hate fucking Love Actually. No, yeah, this is like fake it's British. It's entirely movie. possible. With British people, people in it. A lot of people hate Love Actually. They're like, I this love is Love Actually. Fucking West! <laughs> I like Richard Curtis a lot. He's, he's, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's fun. So I'm just wondering what Simon thinks. What's your favorite plot point or plot beat? It's got to be the part where Alan Rickman's buying the jewelry for the mistress and oh. Rowan Atkinson's doing the. Oh, almost done, sir. Give oh, yeah, it's almost done. <laughs> one little more touch, and he's like, "Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> Give me my fucking jewelry." <laughs> it's, it's like a hipster framing their coffee for the latest <laughs> selfie they're going to do for the nine hundredth time today. You know the way he packs everything is brilliant. I love Alan Rickman, but god damn you, you cheated on Emma fucking Thompson, right? Yeah, Emma yeah, Thompson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless it was on the land the other week and actually said, you know, um, yeah, Hans Gruber's greatest uh, crime. Cheating on Cheating that. Him and Thompson, yeah. That's fucking wrong. Right. Oh, Give me that shitty album, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, like, I mean, I don't know why. Why does Love Actually get the blowback you think he gets now? Because it's, it's, it's a feel-good movie, and people don't want to feel good. I want to feel good. No, they want. Not like that. Hey, go. <laughs> there are the evil people in this world. We, we you, know Xerxes, you know Xerxes is in fucking Love Actually? That's who? He's the, Spa he's the Spanish guy that, uh, what's her name? Uh, Linda, whatever fucking name is, um... From Ozark, who's in love with the guy that works at the fucking. Oh, that's fantasy. fucking him. That's Xerxes, bro. Good fucking Eat Christ! It. I thought it was like hold, I thought hold it was on to that one. Hold, you can never watch that movie again. No, it's like you will kiss my rig, Leonidas. <laughs> <laughs> you will date me. You will suck my dick. <laughs> I, I could have been in London, you know, with the, the hot chick, but I'm here with you and your nipples. I'm here with you, Leonidas. So getting a bit gay. <laughs> I have a goat man. I don't know why. It's, it's, he's there. I don't. Now I have a hunchback who sucks my dick all the time. It could have oh, been hunchy, yours if you suck your dick. Hunchy. I hope you live forever. All right, uh, here we go. This is, this is pretty apropos, actually. Mm. <clears throat> Worst British accent done by an American. Ooh, that's not me. Yeah, not by us. <laughs> or Matthew. Or, 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 or just anybody on the show. Anybody on the show. Christ, I'm trying to think of one now. <laughs> ah, you fucker. <laughs> you fucking cunt. Well, you, you always have. Come on. You can always use one of your lifelines. Yes, yes. <laughs> I can't phone a friend. They're all asleep. <laughs> We're your only friends now, Simon. You yeah. always have. <laughs> Tiff Van Dyke. Oh, yeah. Sold. 50-50. I've literally just watched the Honest trailer for Mary Poppins before we started doing this, and it's like, yeah, can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> oh, no. Lin, Lin Manuel. No, I think you're going Lin Manuel. Or you're gonna go Dicky Van. Dicky Van, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a chimney sweep. I am. <laughs> Dicky Van's been a shitty British actor for like 70 years. Hi, <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> Welcome. Like, fuck you off. You're old too, but you seem to solve a lot of murders. <laughs> I'm a murder solver. <laughs> I am. I have a diagnosis. It's murder. <laughs> Like marry me, Mary Poppins. Hey, look, a penguin over there. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke's fucking British accent is amazing. It's so bad, it might enter the realm of awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're into that. <laughs> if you're into that. Are you into that? Oh, yeah. If you're into white people American talking actors, but dodgy British accents. Oh, oh give me some of that. Give me some of that. <laughs> the you one. like that? You like me getting you hard? <laughs> oh, there's always yeah. the uh, fake Madonna <laughs> accent that she put on. Oh, God. Oh, which, 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 which one? When she was with uh, Guy Ritchie. Oh, Guy Ritchie. Yeah, remember, she, she, started, started, she, 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 she turned her voice. But that, she had the blend in. Was that in real life, though? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? I think she was on Leno or Letterman or doing that fucking accent. I was like, what the fuck? You're from, like, Queens or some shit. Yeah, you're from fucking Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, Justin. Meghan Markle. Ooh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> to, be careful. Be careful. This is treasonous. Care, yeah. Careful. Yeah. I'm going to come for you. Do you really think she's pregnant or maybe just so bad? <laughs> <laughs> this is way too intricate of a question. Hold on. <laughs> Justin, are you really interested? It's not like something like he was thinking about for months. I have been. <laughs> <laughs> You've been thinking about it more than I have. Then I, I'm going to go with yeah. I have a follow up to that. We'll question it follow if the kid comes out and it's not ginger. You know, then we'll start. <laughs> that. Little ginge, little ginge on there. A follow up. <laughs> mm, oh, yes, over under her accent changes very soon. No, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Where is she from? California or some shit? Where is, or, no, know. she's from like Texas or something, right? I don't know. She's uh, a Markle. I don't really know. <laughs> doesn't really give it away. <laughs> it's like you fucking Mars, right? <laughs> I'm from Markle from Mars. Um, yeah, uh, that, I like Megan Markle though. She was on a uh, Howie suits, Mandel right? show with the suitcases. Howie was Mandel she, show. She was on the name of that show. Suits. Deal or well, no deal. Suits, I thought. Yeah, she was on. Well, suits, well, but well, I just remember her deal. Deal or no deal. She was a luggage handler, right? <laughs> she was. She opened the briefcase. With yeah, the she money opened, in it. yeah, she opened. Yeah, she opened. I, I I would hope that her legacy would extend to like no, hey that's it. you were deal in suits. No deal. oh shit yeah, you're dealing no deal in suits. Right, well fuck me right Peace. <laughs> fuck me all right all right Matthew all right uh hmm let's see here 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a little bit of like a beer question. Just oh, yeah, it's my, it's my, an ale question. An ale, an ale, ale question. An ale yeah, so pubs um, and stuff. So I'm, I'm sure you're you're a frequent. Uh, you know, you, you go to the the pubs. He's a recovering alcoholic, you son of a bitch. No, go oh, ahead. oh, I, I apologize. Well, you're gonna answer this question anyway, you son of a bitch. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So, um, in the UK, with a lot of uh, probably American beers coming into your, you know, island at this point. We apologize for that. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I mean, there's some yeah, good ones. Right? Just, yeah. So at this point, do you still prefer English ale or American ale? This is treasonous too. Watch and, out. And what's your favorite? <laughs> I mean, and to to follow up on that question, what's your favorite English ale? What's your favorite ale from England? I'm actually not much of an ale drinker. I'm more of a cider guy. I drink. He's Magnum a cider Irish guy. Soda. That's Magnum. why I knew I liked this guy. Hey. Fuck you. You used to be a fucking strongbow guy. I am. I love. I love. <laughs> I'll give you a strong bone. Hey, easy. Ow. <laughs> easy. I've got a mate at work who really loves your Bud Light adverts. Oh no! Oh no! Like dilly dilly. <laughs> the Clydesdales. Yeah. He likes the Clydesdales. He likes the they're dilly, not American dilly. beer. It's well, really beer. not beer they either. They brew it everywhere now. They brew it all oh, over piss. the world. It's piss. More like more like somebody peed <laughs> in a glass. <laughs> hey, look, motherfucker! I gotta sell that beer here in America. I don't hear. I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry. Bud Light's amazing. It's the greatest yeah. shit ever. I'm sorry, and I dilly dilly suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he made the mistake of telling us that he doesn't like those adverts, and now pretty much every time we see him, dilly dilly, dilly dilly, dilly, dilly dilly's. I mean, are you a fan of the dilly dilly? I'm not really a fan of it, but it's just banter at work and seeing it's him fucking catchy. It's fucking literally catchy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, see, seeing him like crease over and like, eh, eh, I kill you <laughs> every time we say it because he swears it's like impeding on our great English heritage and our history. Mm. Or something or other. Dilly Dilly is impeding on your English heritage. Apparently, <laughs> apparently you're taking the mick out of us wee Brits over here. But I'm... well, you know, oh, no, hey, we would never hey, do that. 1776, no. motherfucker. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Shh, shh. Still fresh. Still fresh. <laughs> I don't to bring that up. Oh, the wounds are. The wound. The wound. <laughs> okay, so Magner cider. Okay, I, I see where Simon's at. Okay, good. Okay, good Simon. to know. What's more disturbing in live action, Dumbo, Pikachu, or Sonic the Hedgehog? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> well, we haven't seen Sonic yet. Pikachu's still No, we've seen enough. We've seen enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> we've seen, but I legs. <laughs> think so far seeing Dumbo in that fucking face paint, that's creepy as shit. <laughs> are they, like they going to have the racist birds in that movie? Of course they're going to have the oh, magpies. Wait. It's Tim Burton. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, the hipster 21st century millennial version of the racist yeah. blackbirds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. Oh uh, my god! If they do that, I'll fucking. I think I just cast the fucking movie, guys. I hope, hey. I hope it happens. Are they gonna have the Astro Troop too? I hope so. Of course, they've got to well, have the Astro. You know, I'll, you know, I you might, can't believe it. Elevator fly. I, 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 this movie. I can't never been believe a, more than anything. <laughs> I was going to be the Astro race is fly. <laughs> I've never been a Dumbo fan, and I think it's subconsciously because I knew that was racist. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Like, why don't I like this cartoon? Hmm, but people love Disney, it. but they forget about the Song of the South, Dumbo. What you talking about, boss? <laughs> <laughs> what do you Zip mean by that? Zip-a-dee-doo-da! Zip-a-dee-doo-da! Uh, just I like. pick a cotton most every day. <laughs> 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 Ramus, get in here. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> Ramus! Disney. <laughs> it exists. Google it. Song of the South. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead I Jess. haven't felt this attracted in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, boy. there's go something ahead. that bugs me. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Here's what grinds my gears. Grinds my gears. What grinds your gears, grinds my gears. Who grinds my gears? Why? Why? What? 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 Why are you saying <laughs> what? Why are you saying why? What? What way? <laughs> cool whip. Cool whip. Why yes. do you drive on the wrong oh. side of the road? <laughs> well, to, to him, we're driving on the wrong side of the road. It's like yeah. aliens. I was going to say, we, we, we left. <laughs> we left your country and you sort of rebelled against us and go, fuck it, we're going on the other side of the road, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so we do I'm putting here. this carriage over here. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going to put the driver here. You guys ought to drive here. Just, just, I can't comprehend it. 
It's not just England though. Isn't like Italy and Germany? I mean, should we go back as that way as should well? Should we go back to horse Jamaica. power? Well, Jamaica is an English colony. Yeah, so. <clears throat> yes. I mean, don't forget that. Yes. I'm. Uh, <laughs> my, my family is ruled by the British people. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you guys are like really good at cricket. Yes, my I'm grandfather. Really good at cricket. <laughs> I can say cricket. Yes, your grandfather as as was a cricket. Uh, cricket, cricket master. Uh, yes. Cricket, cricket master. A very good cricket player. Yes. Is that what you call yes. him, a cricket player or cricket master? I just call him a cricket master. Oh, he's a badass, but no. he was like a spin bowler. Sounds I mean. like a fucking drunken master. A drunken. Oh. <laughs> I believe is the correct. Term. A cricket. Oh, uh, a master cricketer. A master cricketer. <laughs> I have the high ground, Anakin. That's the Jiminy exactly cricketer. <laughs> I don't know if you can say Disney. that. Mm, yes. I say the word cricketer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, that's true. We live in I'm Trump's sorry, America Disney. now. I'm sorry, boss. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, let's hope Matthew. simple here. <laughs> Matthew, go ahead. Uh, your last yeah. one. My last one. Make Ooh, it a good one, goddamn it. Make I it know, a good one, I mean, you son of a bitch. I don't want to have to blow my load. I asked a lot of British questions already. Yes, you are. You're like you're trying. You're trying to convert. I'm trying to bitch. fucking suck this guy's dick. <laughs> uh, I'll be on the next plane. <laughs> there you go. Here's your passport. Nashville's <laughs> lovely this time of year. Um, <laughs> That's what he calls his penis, by the way. Oh, Highly <laughs> racist this time of year. Does it come with tinsel and a nice little little red popcorn? Hat popcorn on the string yes. with an American ale. The noose. <laughs> <laughs> loose, loose, loose. They, they practically give you the noose as you come off the plane. It's a loose a noose. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, man. Uh, this this is kind of, it kind of bleeds into another question we asked earlier, but okay. Right. Why why are English actors so good at fucking American accents, oh, and then American accent American actors so bad at fucking English accents? That's true. I thought Idris Elba was American why? for a very long time. So did I. system. Like, why? Because my dear boy. Well, dear boy, pull up a chair. Very true, my dear Orators, you see, and we apply our talent very well. And the great, late great, Alan Rickman is a prime mm, yeah. example of that. Well, I'm yeah, hard. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me, don't kill me, please. Well, well, Simon, can I hear your American accent? Yes. Cowboy. Oh, yeah. This is oh, important. But, this is important right here. <laughs> be American. Be American. <laughs> or do your best Andrew Dice Clay. Hey! hey. I, like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> do you know who Andrew Dice Clay is? <laughs> do you know who Andrew Dice Clay is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we you will give you some material so you can. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm getting my dick. We have some new materials for you. Uh... <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll come back to this because I don't want to put Simon on the spot. We're just going to go to the next question. Okay. okay. There we go. Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> that off. was an American accent. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told you oh, it was bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> you can pass. What, let's 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 counter that with uh, DJ doing a white man's voice. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what 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 are you saying, guys? Uh, pal. <laughs> Huh? What? Hey, officer, I'm, I'm sorry. Highly, uh, I'm the black guy, he he, he accosted me. He accosted me. Uh, uh, no, anyway. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> you sound like Eddie Murphy. Accosted. You know? I looked it up in the dictionary. It's a word. It's a word. Yeah, he does yeah. sound like Eddie Murphy. You're Eddie Murphy and both. banana in a tailpipe? A banana in a tailpipe? <laughs> I'm not going to fall. Hey, man. I ain't falling for the... No, okay. <clears throat> no, keep going. Uh, you, you, you were in the zone there. <laughs> <laughs> And put some more bass in your voice. Uh, here we go. Simon. Yes. Scariest <laughs> film. <laughs> I'm still leave it there. Just pregnant pause in there. Uh, <laughs> scariest film you've ever seen. Uh, Matthew was judging you. Not at all. In no <laughs> way you perform, notes. Am I have never heard of a Jew who judge anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've been through Never that judgment. Never happened. It's a first time for everything. <laughs> uh, the Barney Shoot. the Dinosaur movie. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my. Come on. Come on. I mean, I, I do agree. It's quite frightening. It's very fucking frightening. But. <laughs> fuck you, answer the question. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know how this happened. When I was a kid. Uh, my dad knew he showed me the Robocop cartoon. It was when the movies were quite popular. Mm, yes. And so he mistook 
one of the uh, Robocop 2 for the cartoon. And so he showed me a six or seven year old Robocop 2. And <laughs> Nuke! Beautiful. <laughs> The, you know the scene where they've got the really fat cop strapped to the hospital? Yes! Chest open? <laughs> that freaked yes! the living shit out of me. <laughs> As they cut his fucking chest cavity o- open. Yeah. It's like, it's like, hey, you want the kid to leave? He's like, why? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Look at it. My parents Look were divorced at, at the time, so when my mum found out, she wasn't best pleased. <laughs> It could have been worse. It could have been the first RoboCop, which Peter Weller yeah. shot seventeen hundred times. Yeah, the director's the fucking, cut, right, the fucking toxic waste scene, whatever you wanted to be. Oh god, that frightened me for a while. Time with the fucking waste. guy was that <laughs> fucked me up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have one more question, Justin. One Go more. Ahead. Poke the British guy. Poke him. <laughs> one more for the fucking crowd. <laughs> Simon. Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite film? Ooh. My favorite film. Is back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, I have two favorite films. Oh. One of them is All Back out. to the Future. Good boy. The other All one li- is Die Hard. Ah. So me and Jess are going to make out with you in a complete tri- a, a complete guys, fucking three ways going on. You guys on, are right? going to zoom fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kids are calling it these days. <laughs> Marty, we got to go back. Why? I don't know. Oh, he's a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? There's no problem with that. Oh, Imagine oh. The you know, Trump, Trump becomes that. president. <laughs> Trump becomes. <laughs> it's a hell. Stuff. Biff becomes president. I mean, Trump becomes. I mean, Biff. I mean, Trump. I mean, <laughs> he's gone backwards. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck you do this time, Marty? Being torn down. Now go back up. <laughs> We're fucked, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic Back to the Future, starring <laughs> Christopher Lloyd. Let's get a beer. We're fucked, Marty. <laughs> Why, Marty? Let's Doc! find some bitches and get a beer. <laughs> Doc, we gotta get in the DeLorean at the same time. Ah, fuck it, it Marty. We're done. <laughs> We're finished. I've had ten beers. Let's go off a cliff. <laughs> get in the car, Marty. Doc, we, you've been drinking. We can't we find a DeLorean. We have the DeLorean with us in it. This has been Simon Says, a segment that's at least better than that Dennis Rodman film of the same name. Yeah, that exists. Want to know what's happening for the weekend? Then check out Subject Cinema's 3-Minute Weekend, spotlighting all the new films hitting your local theaters. Join host T.C. Kirkham as he gives you the 411 on all the new blockbuster releases as well as the indies that might be coming to your town and choices for video on demand as well. 3-Minute Weekend, every Friday morning from Subject Cinema and eCinemaOne.com, a member of the Lamb Podcasting Network, a PNR Network's podcast. Hey guys, we're uh, gathered here on this warm fire celebrating the holidays. And, it's so uh, toasty. Yeah, I know. And Matt, Matt's wearing actually his ugly sweater. And I am. It's got a big Star David on it. I, I've noticed it. Uh, and uh, it seems we got some uh, Christmas cards here. Ooh. Sorry, Matt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My Hanukkah card. Hanukkah Sorry, ended Matt. two weeks ago, asshole. <laughs> uh, well, it means you're free then. Yeah. Uh, well, who wants to read first? Who's going to read first here? I want to read these Christmas cards. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's Let me give you one of them. Who wants one? I, I'll take one. I'll I, think take... Simon, I think our guest should have the first card. Oh, yeah. Simon. Ooh. Yeah, go let's, for it. Let's, let's be nice about it. You know, let's let's make sure he... I'm going to slip on my cocoa well. Oh, yeah. I, uh, it's got go, extra, extra marshmallows in it. Ooh. That's not marshmallows. Uh, go ahead, Simon. Yeah. I knew it was something. Dear Santa, mm. I don't want to use the N-word... But DJ Valentine is the what? biggest, what? nicest person around. Uh-huh. This year, I'd like him to have a good Transformers movie to watch. Aww. Simon. Oh, th- wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you read your own card? Oh, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You got really close to uh, an apartheid joke there. Uh, who's <laughs> Look, the 80s were a long time ago. It's a very long time ago. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Any other cards we got that's here? A oh, nice wait. Christmas wish. I mean, that's, I think that's, that's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you one. You might be right this time, actually. Yeah, might be, I'll uh, give you right. one. Dear Santa, this year for Christmas, I would like the firstborn of every family to be sacrificed. If I have to see another Monster Energy drink sticker on the back of a car, 
Signed, Justin. Oh, that's so sweet, that's Justin. Sweet. I, I didn't know that Monster Energy Drink stickers were so prevalent still. You're not. A, you're a Red Bull guy. I huh? see them every goddamn fucking day. <laughs> wow. Doesn't really bug me. What's the okay. What's the energy drink of choice over in the uh, uh, Britannia, uh, Simon? Uh, cocaine. Liquid uh, cocaine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it might be. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it might be. I don't know what they got. Here, here in Monster seem to be the uh, the pro choices. <laughs> the pro choices. I mean, mm -hmm. pro choice keeps the babies away. <laughs> and they... Here, I'm gonna give you one, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Shut up and read the card. I Shut am... up and read. Oh, this is this is this is a very delectable card. Um, dear Santa, this year has been a great year. I've got all the pudding I can stick my big Crosby into. Please send a little sweater for me. Uh, one like the one I wore in season two of episode eight. Signed, Bill C. <laughs> <laughs> See you in hell, Bill C. I mean, you blind fuck. <laughs> I think the pudding should go in the pop. <laughs> and I think, oh shit. I'm about to be popped. I have to go. Well, you know, at least Bill had the time. I mean, at least he's asking something from Santa. I mean, to, to, to have, take the time in between rapes to actually write a card. And I'm not talking about people he's raped. I mean, getting raped. It's it's yeah. really difficult. We know a good thing about I mean, Bill Cosby. He's, 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 they said he's like blind now, so he won't even know yeah. it's coming. <laughs> that's true. That's a, that's a very good thing. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give you one. Hey, that's not even a, that's not even like a rape joke. That's like a reality joke. No, no, joke. that's a that's a uh, that's like something that's really inevitability happening. joke. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> like I love your sweater. This is a nice one. Oh, mm. go ahead, dear Santa. I have mm. been good this year, but I can't take Trump anymore. Please kill me. Signed, Penny Marshall. Oh, <laughs> oh too soon. <laughs> too soon. Santa's the angel of death. What the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wow. No. I can't believe we so got that. So Basel. Awesome effort incorporated. What the fuck? We're not going to do it. <laughs> We're not going to do it. It's like, even though we are a spinoff of Happy Days, there have been happier days. There are sad days. <laughs> Good God. Uh, anyway. Oh, that's, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> that is a damn shame. But she at least she got what she wanted for Christmas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's right here. Yes, I mean, I don't know when this... Postcard came along, but you know, hey, good for her. Hey, her and I shared a birthday. We shared a birthday. It's not anymore. I know she's dead. Uh, huh. Well, wrong. technically, you still share a birthday, mate. Yeah. Just yeah, but she's, not gonna share, but she's not going to share it with me anymore. No, true. Yeah, so. Well, <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, uh. Here you go, uh, DJ. I got one for oh. you. There you go. Get this one. Tape here. Get, get oh, here. a look at it. Mm. This one's a little short. Yeah, oh, wow, it is kind of short. Uh, Dear Santa, please give me a job. Frankie Muniz. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Frankie. Oh, wow. You big, you big, you big fat liar. I, I mean, speaking of, speaking of which, I thought Frankie Muniz was dead. Really? <laughs> I didn't know he was looking for work. Is it through the afterlife? <laughs> I thought it would have Did been a bigger, like I thought it would have been bigger news if like Frankie Moon is bidding. It's like would it have been bigger news? Star of been... Star of Malcolm in the Middle and nothing else. <laughs> I mean, Sharknado okay. Three. If he was What's dead, he could do like Yul Brenner, you know, with a cigarettes advert. <laughs> yeah. I'm Yul Brenner and I'm dead now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're wondering how the British guy knows about that, Bill Hicks. <laughs> Thank God Thanks, Bill. Bill Hooks. He was also dead. Also he was dead. also dead. dead in these cards. There's a lot of dead people. <laughs> dead people it's like a Sixth Sense a edition of Dear Santa. <laughs> maybe maybe Haley Joe Osman grew up to be Santa Claus. No, he just grew up to be fat. Oh, okay. All right, Justin, any more cards? Well, he's yeah. Santa Claus, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Let me give this one to Matt. Ooh. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, hmm. oh, oh, cool. Okay. This is, this is a nice... Uh, no, kind of letter from Santa here. So, uh, hey, dear Santa, the wife and I would like to go away. Please send us to Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club. <laughs> they what? give you so much to take home with you, like chlamydia, hepatitis oh. A, B, and oh. C. Hell, I think AIDS is making a comeback. <laughs> 
love Matt. <laughs> I don't believe in you, but you know. I hear AIDS is making a comeback. <laughs> what has he ever done? He's got AIDS. I mean, at the same time, it's like I asked for hepatitis A, B, and C, and then A I D S. So yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's there. the first, at least the first four letters of the alphabet. What is Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club? I'm, maybe I'm an old guy here. I don't uh, know. What it's, that? It's, it's got a lot of mean girls. It's a, and, new, it's uh, a new TV video, show. Obviously. It's, it's going to be on, right be on MTV, is a joke? Is this part of the bit? What's going on here? No, yes. It's a TV show, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Really? She owns a beach club. <laughs> yeah. She owns something? She, a beach club. Other than, you know. Well, I don't know if she owns it. It might be, you know. <laughs> might, she might be released. Might be in debt up to her eyeballs. Maybe. I don't really know. But. I was going to say up to, to her tits, but her tits are probably hanging to the floor by now. Oh! oh. 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 Leave Lindsay alone. You leave Lindsay you alone. Leave Lindsay alone. That was more Britney, but you can leave Lindsay alone, too. Close enough. Uh, what's the difference? Yeah, you might uh, catch something. I'd leave her alone, too. Yeah, it's true. Just stay <laughs> far away. Hey. Eat that pole. Anything to be on TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> let's do uh let's do another here's uh i'm gonna give one to simon dear santa i would like to host the oscars this year signed harvey weinstein oh. <laughs> you're in, when, when's you're in. i'll do it from my prison cell when, when's his comeback because everybody else is making a comeback jesus christ matt lauer's harvey making weinstein. a comeback louis ck is making a making it making a comeback I haven't seen uh, what's his name um, Aziz Ansari yet. He didn't make his comeback yet. I th- he didn't really do anything. And that's I'm, the thing that's you know, fucked up. He's the one who <laughs> did. I, 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 I'm not, okay. I'm gonna be out. Let's like, just back away. We're all gonna slowly back away from this conversation. <laughs> I got another card. I'll give you a DJ. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna open the papers here. I'm gonna fill in some time. Okay, right. there you uh, go. <laughs> what well, is a good one here? Uh, Dear Santa, I would like a bike, Legos, a bunny two-box girl doll, and an easy-bake oven. Also, is there any unfunny mute comic who uses their dead parent to succeed in a life available for me? Oh, boy. Honestly, I, I'm starting to wonder if 9-11 was a SNL sketch. <laughs> XOXOX, A Grande. Oh, I thought you were gonna go. I thought you were gonna go Pete Davidson, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh. I'm getting tired of that guy. <laughs> I'm getting really tired. He needs of that help, guy. though. He needs help. Does he? I don't know. On Twitter, he said he had help. He needed help. Oh, because oh, that's that's where you go to call for help these days, isn't it? Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Please, Twitter. It, it's, it's, my it's 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 something that's incredibly important to our lives. <laughs> And, uh, I, my, my life uh, it's meaningless without 140 characters. Yeah. <laughs> well, then they have more. It's like they have 140 is in like 240 now or 360 oh, or. I gotta put it in a night mode. I gotta. Yeah. Make there's sure a, there's a lot of work to be done. Thread. Well, and, uh, uh, I did. Here, here's another letter. Um, oh. You no, know, mm. I got one more uh, okay. for you guys. So, uh, here you go. Uh, dear Santa. Uh, no, hey. Beer. I need beer. <laughs> I love beer. Give me beer, damn it. Yo, Santa, I want a devil triangle to missus. I love beer. Let's sweep her chimney like Dick Van Dyke. Signed, number 69 in your heart and in your soul. Nice. Defensive back Brett. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... I, this sounds I, familiar. I, Do I know who I that mean, is? I, that sounds, I, I, mean, I don't think it's a lot to ask for. Hey, the one good thing is... He's a friend of Dick Van Dyke, he is! Dick Van Dyke! I want to sweep man. the chimney! I want to sweep your blood in I chimney. love beer! <laughs> I love ale! I My want a nice put through the ringer. point of the bitters! The Mary Poppins Experience brought to you by the Simplistic <laughs> Reviews Podcast. <laughs> this is what not, two hours of Dickie V feels like. We are sponsored by the pornography version. Yes. Mary of, of Poppins. Mary Poppins? <laughs> Mary Poppins. Pop in. I got one more for Simon. Um, oh! Let's see. Here, I'm going to send this one to Simon. This this is the season of giving. Yes. I, I love receiving mail. Oh, I, you will receive and you will enjoy it. And if you don't feel comfortable, you know, we could just give it to somebody else. No, because we Simon. feel very comfortable. Simon is no, no, really I'm comfortable. Very, very oh, very. Comfortable with this one. A lot of people are. Mm. A lot of people. Are. Yeah. Dear Santa, mm. 
Please lock Donald Trump up in prison and use the one housing Bill Cosby so old Bill can stick Bing Crosby into that walking carrot sphincter. Signed, The World. Oh. <laughs> I think I, I wrote that. I mean, I feel like that's, that's a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I, oh, I found, oh, I got another one here. I'm gonna give it to oh. Simon if he doesn't mind. No, uh, I just need this, and uh, I, well, I think all three of us need this. Okay. Hello, Stephen. It's Clem Fandango. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you, Clem Fandango. <laughs> How the fuck's that? <laughs> Clem oh Fandango. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh God, I can die now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all got what we can, wanted for Christmas this year. That's all I wanted was for Christmas was somebody to say Clem Fandango with an authentic UK accent. Clem <laughs> Fandango. You can fuck that sky. Patches! <laughs> Ray Bloody Patches. This is Miscast Entertainment with your hosts, William Davis Moore, Greg, and JJ. Every week, these misfits will make it their mission to bring you irreverent entertainment reviews, entertainment news, gaming videos, film-inspired food and drinks, fun facts, and more. Now, get your ass over to YouTube so you can absorb this shite into your brain meat through your eyeballs. We are Miscast Entertainment, and we are here to amuse you. Real or fake? All these films likely suck. It's Simplistic Titles. Simplistic Titles. This is the game where I read each player the name of an oddly titled film and they have to determine whether the film is real or something totally fake that I fucking made up. Before they make their guesses, they can ask me two questions about the film, which I will answer that may help them make their choice. First person, the three right guesses, wins the game. Which is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You win nothing. Uh, There's no stakes to this. <laughs> There's always stakes. Porterhouse stakes. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go to Simon. Then I'm going to go to Matt. And I'm going to go to Justin. Mm. You guys ready? Oh, uh, the, the things you can ask me, Simon. I don't know if you know already. Are Matthew and Justin, because they're you know, forgetful to do a lot of drugs. You can yeah, ask me the first two stars of the film. You can ask me the director. You can ask me the premise. And you can ask me the tagline. I will give you the name in the genre. In the year. You guys ready? Cheers. Uh, yeah, okay. let's, let's do the thing. Here we go. Simon. Help Me Kill My Grandma, 1992 comedy. <laughs> Real or fake? <laughs> Who Help Me that? Kill My Grandma, 1992 comedy. <laughs> Are there more points given for like earlier guesses? There's no point system. Oh, okay. There's no point system here, buddy. Here's One to three. Train. I'm a fucking idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Who directed it? Help Me Kill My Grandma, 1992 comedy, directed by Dennis Dugan. <laughs> Didn't help you at all, did it? Uh. <laughs> But it sounds so more stupid. It sounds so stupid. I'm, that's got to be real. <laughs> you have one more question. If you want to uh, ask it, you can. You want to lose. If he's not going to get it now, he's not going to get it with one more fucking question. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Help me kill my grandma is absolutely fake. <laughs> <laughs> See, but Dennis Dugan is a real director. He is. See what you're he, a, he is. You're a fucking monster. I am. I am. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. Directed by Dennis Duke. I am. <laughs> what are you going to do I'm next? Writing that down. Monster, but Will, You're a fucking monster. Will Smith is a genie. <laughs> Will Smith is a genie. All right, uh, Matthew, are you ready? Uh, sure. Let's let's do this. <clears throat> Beach Party Bloodbath, 1977 horror comedy. <laughs> Beach party bloodbath. Uh, what's the tagline? The tagline: He'll hang ten, maybe twenty. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> Beach party bloodbath, <laughs> nineteen seventy-seven horror comedy. He'll hang ten, maybe twenty. Who directed this uh, this fine film? Beach party bloodbath, nineteen seventy-seven horror <laughs> comedy, directed by Jack Hill. Oh yeah, that guy. He's really good. Um. <laughs> oh Jesus! He'll hang ten, even twenty. What the? He'll fuck hang does, ten. What the fuck does that even mean? It's a surf movie. I know. Beach but, party. No, He'll hang stupid. ten. It's maybe stupid. twenty. It's stupid. It's fake. Final answer. Yeah. 
Hooray! Yeah, oh, just like it's mine. Your tagline was not good. Oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> I liked it. What does hang 20 mean? What does that mean to hang 20? He's going to kill people. people. He kills people with a rope. And he, he, he's, he's got no oh. limit. 10. No limit. <laughs> He has no limit. He may hang 20. He may hang 30. We don't know who he's hanging. He's hanging everyone. Because he's crazy. He's, he's a crazy, crazy he's a killer. killer. <laughs> well, sorry, Jack. All right, Justin, are you ready? Uh, Matthew has one point. Simon has zero points. You have zero points. Here you go. Are you ready? Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, 1988 horror comedy. <laughs> Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, 1988 horror comedy. I think I know this one already, but I would like to know the tagline. The tagline for Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, a 1988 horror comedy, is they charge an arm and a leg. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> I've seen this film. Okay. <laughs> Do I admit that on, on, on air? Unfortunately, I do. I, I um, you're you're in a safe place. I am in a safe place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Real really safe, but all right. Uh, yeah. Would you like to ask another question? You have one more. Uh, well, I know it's real because I remember <laughs> the poster with the girl with the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, who directed this stuff? Uh, sure, let's go for it. Director Fred Olin Ray. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that yeah, I'm gonna good. go real on that one. That is absolutely correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember hearing about them. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Yes. yes. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Classic. Right. One one zero. Simon, time to get on the board. Are you ready? Yes. That was like that was very threatening. <laughs> time to get on the fucking board. Right, hey, right. Get, on the, get on the fucking ball, Simon. <laughs> Rug muncher. Teen Comedy, 1996. Ooh. Okay, who stars in that? Starring Corey Feldman, James Lennox. He got Simon's a big Corey Feldman guy. Yeah, he loves you him. You know things. Simon loves him some Corey Feldman. He does. He's a Corey Feldman fanatic. No. No. What's you the premise one, of Rug Munchers? You want the premise of Rug Munchers. Here's the premise of Rug Munchers, a teen comedy from 1996, starring Corey Feldman and James Lennox. A boy tries to overcome his fear and societal pressure to orally please his girlfriend on the last week of summer vacation. Rug Muncher. That's, that's got to be fake. 1996. But if that is real, fuck me, I'm watching it right after. <laughs> We're into the podcast to watch it. Yeah. It's fake as fuck, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> Seemed like it was too good to be not true. Yes, <laughs> I would have come back on to do the commentary for that one. Yes, I would run on. I would run to do that. I, movie. I feel uh, like our podcast is big enough that we can do fake commentaries. <laughs> the fake, I still want to do. What's the deal with Hitler? That's, yeah. What's the problem with Hitler? Hitler? All right, here we go. Are you ready, Matthew? Oh, it's, it's all tied oh, up. One, one, one. Here oh, we go. Man, we're 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 in we're in we're in it now. <laughs> yeah. The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing, 1973 Western. Man Who Loved Cat Dancing? Like <laughs> cat? Like C-A-T? Like, like a kid cat? I highly doubt it. The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing, 1973 Western. They weren't really doing a lot of Westerns in the 70s, were they? The Man Who Liked Cat okay. Dancing. <laughs> What's the premise of this uh, film? Western story about a defiant wife who leaves her husband to take oh. up riding with outlaws. The oh. man who loved cat dancing. So a, hold on. Western. So a woman left to take up riding with the outlaws. Western story about a wow. defiant wife who leaves her husband to take up riding That's with the outlaws. Cat. Man, that is a that, she's a cat. Who, so ooh, the man who liked cat dancing. Loved. Oh, loved. That's just life. Loved. I'm sorry. You took it to the next Man, level. There's some subtext going on in this uh, film. Um, who starred? No, no, I don't know. I don't have any because what is it? It's going to be who starred, premise, directed, tagline. What? Yeah, what's the tagline? Are you sure you want to do that? This is your final question. I don't. I mean, okay, fine. Who starred in this film? Burt Reynolds, Sarah Miles. 
Don't fucking Burt Reynolds in there, you asshole. <laughs> uh, anyway. He's the star of the yeah, film, The film. Man Who oh, Loved yeah. Cat Dancing. So, 1977, Western. Three. Uh, 73. Oh, 73, sorry. In the 70s. Um, could, this been, could, could this have been one of the last heydays of Western until Unforgiven? Maybe. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it was Western's before that. Yeah. Or after that. Well, I mean, you're big in the 60s, not much in the 70s. 80s. Can you name an 80s Western film? Young Guns. Uh, Silverado. Yeah, okay, Young, Young Guns, Guns too. Okay. Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. Yes, Young Guns. <laughs> um, I'm still going to say this is fake and not real. Are you? Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. It is absolutely real. Oh, no. <laughs> Burt Reynolds? Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> All right, Justin, here we go. Did this movie do oh, well at the box office? I have no fucking okay. idea. Clearly not. <laughs> Apparently not, because it's not a real fucking movie. It is. Look it up, you fuck. Here we go, <laughs> Justin. All right, give it to me, good doc. Here we go. The Destroy Team, 1987 action. Ooh, sounds good. Crazy. That, that could be an 80s movie. That's, that's yeah. a total bad enough to be that's, an 80s movie. <laughs> that's, 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 I that's want destroying the... Destroying a destroyer that destroys... Premise? Premise. A group of retired Black Ops soldiers are called back into action to take down a domestic terrorist threatening to blow up the White House. The Destroy Team, 1987 action. Yeah, sounds uh, good. Uh, sounds real good. Mm. Ooh. Tagline, baby. They've got enough collateral for damage. Oh, this sounds too good to be true. <laughs> All right, I want to know who's in it. You can't yeah, because yeah, you've asked yeah. two ah, questions. You fuck. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's fake, but I want to know who's in it after. <laughs> <laughs> it stars Harry Dean Stanton, Rutger oh. Howard, but doesn't matter because it's fake as fuck. Uh, <laughs> that would have been a quite a cast: Harry Dean Stanton and Rutger Howard. Oh, I watched the fuck that, out of that that's movie. That's a fucking all-star cat. I'd de-pants myself to watch that shit. <laughs> Can you imagine fun. if they made it today, though? It'd be a lot less action-packed because they'd shuff at the White House and go, Do you want nah, actually, no, no, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not not well, it. We're straight, we're straight. No, come on, come out of retirement. No, we're good, we're good. Come on to California. It's going to retire. Uh, I'm an elderly man and a Swedish actor. <laughs> we're Scandinavian. What am I doing Wherever here? Wherever the fuck I'm from, Rutger Howard. <laughs> it's like those uh, late 80s, early 90s um, uh, action films that they made with old actors to keep their insurance going. <laughs> this is a very yeah. elaborate metaphor. Well, that's what they used to do. It's it's um, like one of the Death Wish. Wasn't one of the Death Wishes like that where it had like a lot of old actors in it? It's just, it's just sad. Yeah. yeah. They're all sad, these movies. Like we need our insurance. They're I about to cover, die. I can't, cover, I can't cover my deductible this year. And it's like, well, make a fucking movie. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Justin has two. Matthew has one. Simon has one. Simon, you can tie up Justin right here. Are you ready? Ooh. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. I'm feeling the pressure. Okay. Under pressure. Don't fuck in the woods. 2016 horror. <laughs> well, huh. don't fuck in the woods. A 2016 horror. It's more of a bi biography. A biography or a porno. Yeah. <laughs> Who directed it? It's directed by Sean Burkett. Oh, he's good. He's oh good yeah, guy. that's good. He, he directed Mary and Poppins. The, the stars. Brandy Mason, Scott Gillespie. That didn't help you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? Who the fuck is that? So fucking evil, DJ is. <laughs> you asked, I told. <laughs> it's his discipline and sticking to the I will not say anything but the title and the year of the film. It impresses. Don't <laughs> fuck in the woods. A 2016 <laughs> Mark Gillespie, his breakout role. I'm his breakout go role. His coming I'm out gonna go role. Fake. You gonna go fake? Fake. Well, guess what? Fuck you, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I feel like I've come across that film. I, have, I bet you a whole bunch of people came across oh, it. Uh, oh. Here we go, <laughs> here we go Matt. Are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to fuck in the woods. It's an actual horror film. Yeah. <laughs> I just I did not make it up. I don't make up any of these things, except for the fake ones. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Matthew. Yes. 
Duck Duck Goose, 2018 animated film. Duck Duck, like two ducks and a goose? Duck Duck Goose, a 2018 animated film. 2018? Yes, that's what I said. All right. Twice. What's the premise to <laughs> Duck Duck Goose? I'm glad you asked. A bachelor goose must form a bond with two lost ducklings in Journey South. Duck Duck Goose, uh, 2018. So it came out within Enemy. the past 12 months. <laughs> Maybe. Or, sure. It was Whatever. It was made in 2015, got released in 2018. Sure. Uh, Maybe. Who, Whatever. What, what's the cast? The cast Kenny is... Kenny Tatum and somebody else. Close. Jim Gaffigan and Zendaya. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Close. You're right around the room right there. Oh, my God. Duck, duck, goose. No, this is... Is, is Frankie it, Muniz in that by any chance? <laughs> He's dead. Uh, I mean, I think. <laughs> duck, duck, dead. Duck, duck, dead. This, this was dead, a, dead, goose. <laughs> no, this, this, this couldn't have gotten past me, so this is fake. Sorry, it got past you. It's real. Wow, <laughs> an idiot. Whoa. Duck, duck, goose. Well... <laughs> Well, I'm not. Oh, it's it's a it's a two horse race now. Well, right now, if Matt if Justin it gets this right, the, the game here. is over. The game is over. Here we go. All right. All right. This is for all the marbles. All the marbles. That's right. Marbles. Ooh, I'm scared. I was gonna give you this one, but I'm, I'm not gonna give you this one because this is weird. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Perspiring. Hopefully, you're wearing deodorant. I am. Uh, <laughs> he is. Boner Problems, a 1991 dramedy. Fuck! Dramedy? Dramedy? <laughs> dramedy! <laughs> is this a Canadian film or something? Close! Oh, it's close. a 1991 dramedy! <laughs> Goddamn Canadians. It's called Boner Problems, if you didn't hear me. Well, yeah, I want to know who's in this one. You want to know who's in it? Well, guess what? Billy Connolly and Kristen Scott Thomas. Ooh, Kristen Scott Thomas. Well, I really want to know the tagline, but I also want to know the fucking synopsis. Mm. Oh, give me the synopsis, Well, I can baby. tell you one of those things. I know, I can only pick one. <laughs> synopsis. Yo. Boner Problems, a 1991 dramedy starring Billy Connolly and Kristen Scott Thomas. Fuck of, you! <laughs> of, uh, That's your synopsis. <laughs> A middle-aged man tries everything to regain the ability to please his wife again on their anniversary. Boner Problems, a 1991. Well, like Simon said earlier, so bad it has to be real. <laughs> I want to use that logic. Are you using that logic? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a right answer? Yeah, or, go for it. Guess? I don't, Let's I don't, go for it. It's you're saying it's real or you're saying it's fake? I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm by confused your as well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I know it's called boner problems. Fuck it. <laughs> let's let's say it's fake. Final answer. Yeah. Winner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he knows his fake films. I know my Tag boner line, films. He's down, but not out. <laughs> boner uh, problems. <laughs> normally, we let our guests win. But Sorry. since Justin is an asshole, <laughs> the guest will not win this not time. today. I really was not trying today, to lose on that one. Somebody thought Don't Fuck in the Woods was fake. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I think that? You Why son would of a bitch. you? <laughs> this has been Simplistic Titles. Who says IMDb is useless? Everybody says that? Never mind then. Here's oh. one for you oh. Aladdin. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Please be fake. Sorry, Will fake. Please Smith. Be fake. Please be fake. That's the genie. Directed by Guy Ritchie. This is fake. <laughs> this is fake. White people in, in, in Arabic face, fake. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, everybody, uh, this is the end of the show. Uh, Simon, plug your website. I already know what it is, but I want you to say it. We want to know. The people. <laughs> the people. Oh Tell them. It's starting to sound like that Kevin Costner baseball movie, Field of Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> that was way more seductive than that. 
Kill them. I'm your father. I'm your father. Put that hot dog down your throat, Kyle. <laughs> you want to play patch? Oh, you want to play Yeah, patch? you do that. That's called feel the cream. Yeah. Build that. Yeah. And I'm Build the guy from Revenge of the Nerd. Suck on that hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Poor keys, <case> too. <laughs> Glory. What time is everybody your information? <laughs> Uh, my site is Mustache Movie News. You can find it at mustachemovienews.blogspot.com. And on there at the moment, I hope, well, I hope to have up in the next day or so my review of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Spoiler alert, good movie. Uh, there's also my review of the latest Robin Hood movie, although <laughs> you may find the review more entertaining to read than actually watching the movie. <laughs> uh, Speaking of a black guy playing a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what's his name did it? Who? Oh, you're the other black guy. <laughs> so, Morgan okay. Freeman? Morgan Freeman. He played Don Muslim. Cheadle? Sure, Morgan they're Freeman. all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Costner thought that I was Muslim. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> Just Morgan me, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so it was that bad, huh? So bad. So bad. Such a, such a bad movie. Such a bad movie. The arrows make gun noises. Robin Hood, 2018. That sounds a little annoying. <laughs> it was watching the guys do, like, building search, like, Black Hawk Down style. Yeah, they, they do it like a ghost recon or some shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Call of Duty with fucking bow and arrows. Yeah. <laughs> And there's there's even a tribute to the 2003 Italian job movie in there. Go oh, figure. Yes, there is. Wow. Well, I mean, congrats. <sighs> That's deep. Ben Mendelsohn. We we hardly knew ye. Uh, <laughs> ben Mendelsohn being Ben Mendelsohn in a Ben Mendelsohn film. <laughs> I'm Ben Mendelsohn. You I'm Ben Mendelsohn. Pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, build me a Death Star. I'm necessary. <laughs> I'm necessary. You feel in charge. All right, uh, Matthew. Yes. Give everybody our information. Give everybody our information. Well, this is the last information we'll get for 2018 until 2019, which will yes. be, yes. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do Bane the entire time. I, 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 you know, this, this, it will be very painful. Be, for, <laughs> you. for you. <laughs> Not as, not as big a mistake as you have made. <laughs> My fear. I fear. You didn't respect our authority. <laughs> you, think, you think the Simplistic Reviews podcast is your friend? I was born, I was in, born in the Simplistic Reviews <laughs> I was born in it. I was born by it. By the time I listened to it, it was blackness. <laughs> it was blinding. Blinding. Right. So you came back to listen to the Simplicity of Views podcast. <laughs> no. Now you just sound like came a drunk man. back to listen to Simon Appleton. <laughs> I can try to stop you. <sighs> oh, God. Fuck Can't that. breathe in this thing. Oh, God. It's so exhausting. <laughs> Where is it? I met a podcast. We broke my back. Listen, you were never going to run out of a well. What? I thought I was hard to understand. <laughs> What'd you and like? then this woman stabs me in the back. <laughs> Mary and Goldion, why? <laughs> why? The, we've done the entire film. Yeah. All right, Matthew, give it Bruce Wade. <laughs> Bruce Wade? Bruce Wade. So I... Oh, the tension. Well, the Simplistic Reviews podcast is po- sponsored by... So I... Of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> but if you don't want to go there, you can always go to Simplistic Reviews net to check out all the antics, all the fun stuff, because everything goes there to one central hub. You can download the podcast from there. You can read reviews from there. You can do whatever you want. You could probably even go to Pornhub from there. I don't know. I'm guaranteed. Whatever you want. It's your fucking world. We're just coming in. That's what we're trying to do. So, yeah. So, go to Twitter. Go to Simple Tweeters. Go to Instagram. Go to Simple Grammy. Uh, go to YouTube. You can check out the videos and all the other fun stuff on there. Uh, download the podcast on iTunes or uh, fucking Pan, um, Pan, I don't Pandora. Know, Pandora. Pandora, Pandora I with uh, the Navi. Wherever you want to go to download a bunch of shit online. We'll do that stuff too. Uh, what other fun stuff do we have? We have a review up there of the Meg. In case you're a big fan of the Meg, I talk about it and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's okay. So I got for you. Jesus, or 
Hey, you can even download the newest podcast besides this one, which you're probably listening to right now, which is super fucking meta right now. Um, see what DJ and uh, Justin had to say about Aquaman. Aquaman! Aquaman, you were born in the water! No, I was born in the land. I'm Aquaman, I'm a king. Whatever, fuck. So, yeah, I mean, I hope you go back and enjoy Aquaman this weekend. Don't. Mule or whatever fucking other movies out. Enter the Spider Verse. Watch That's that it. and then read Simon's review of it on his uh, website as well too. And uh, Simon, where where uh, where can people find you on social? Oh, no, on on social, it's uh, uh, Twitter. It's at mustache underscore news, and on Facebook, it's at uh, Facebook at dot com forward slash mustache movie news oh, Wait, however the hell facebook do it yeah. to search mustache movie yeah, news. whatever the fuck it is uh, <laughs> if you, you find a mustache that... related movie blog you're pretty much guaranteed yeah. to have found mine but don't worry people we're gonna do better in 2019 we'll do better we'll do better next year will we i'm probably not um, yeah that's true uh, hey. well for uh <laughs> i don't Bill fucking Cosby know and, and bane and Batman and Brexit. And I'm Lindsay Lohan saying that I, I I have a beach house. Is that what it's called? Lindsay Lohan's beach house. Is that Lindsay Lohan's beach house. That's correct. How do they spell beach? <laughs> Is it with two e's? What's Lindsay this? Lohan's this? blowout house. Are your daughters sick and tired of playing with Barbies? Play with the new Lindsay Lohan doll and buy her beach house to go with it. I'm sick, mommy. I'm sick. <laughs> and it comes with removable <laughs> lips. A B and C for top and bottom. Pair of removable lips. Who will rule the beach house? Lindsay Lohan or me? Or AIDS. <laughs> or AIDS. <laughs> or Charlie Sheen. Hosted by Frankie Muniz. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> People saying I'm dead. I must People be keep Jeff saying Cole I'm too. dead. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm dead. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm dead. I'm thinking I'm dead. <laughs> they Muniz. killed my dog. <laughs> I once saw Frankie Muniz kill a man with a fucking pencil. <laughs> it's called Frankie Baba. <laughs> Baba Baba. Baba and Frankie. Frankie <laughs> Muniz Baba. I hear you hit my son. He hit Frankie Muniz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You've made it to the end. Not just the end of this episode. Not just the end of another season of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. But you've also made it to the end of another year. Another long, torturous, joy-sucking year. Another year where you've once again, staved off the natural impulse to plunge jet first into the gaping maw of oblivion. Out of the sheer exhaustion of ignoring the fact that all life is a finite exercise in futility. Another year where you feel you've gotten that much smarter, only because everyone around you has gotten that much dumber. A feeling which holds little comfort, since the collective idiocy of the populace will likely cause the destruction of everything you hold dear. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. What? Too bleak of an outro? Fine. Happy holidays then.